very good morning uh, we are discussing about passing package okay part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 i already discussed with you okay this is a uh, part 5 howda in pa andre illi very important every year kelavanta one question ide yavudappa andre glucose how glucose break down into pyruvate and liberate energy in the, uh, in, uh, in the absence of oxygen, lack of oxygen and presence of oxygen, what are the products are produced? So, this is the question for this question. This is applicable one or two marks questions for this question. This is the question for this question. This glucose. Six carbon atom mark. You know, six carbon atom is glucose. The cytoplasm is the breakdown of pyruvate and small amount of energy. This pyruvate is the three carbon atom compound. This pyruvate is the absence of oxygen. This is the yeast fermentation. 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 This is the in Pandre, energy in a Buduka Madonta Kelsamata, they liberates energy. Glucose break down into pyruvate. Pyruvate in the absence of oxygen in where yeast cells undergo a fermentation and gives a products like ethanol, carbon dioxide, and energy. In, uh, in another case, glucose converted into pyruvate in cytoplasma and pyruvate lack of oxygen where in our muscles turns into lactic acid lactic acid is also three carbon molecule with liberating small amount of energy next glucose break down into pyruvate pyruvate in presence of oxygen it's a very important it's our respiration okay glucose breaks down into pyruvate pyruvate in presence of oxygen gives a products like a carbon dioxide water and large amount of energy large amount of energy here in these cases absence of oxygen uh, what liberation of energy is very less then uh, lack of oxygen there also liberation of energy very less but amount of energy liberated is very high where in presence of oxygen okay uh, uh, this is called as a respiration reaction respiration reaction where it occurs it occurs in mitochondria okay Mm, it's a very important reaction then uh, in our exams they ask how glucose break down into pyruvate pyruvate in the case of what absence of oxygen another case lack of oxygen and another question presence of oxygen these all uh, three reactions they ask in exam if they ask in exam uh, glucose c6 h12 o6 uh, in presence of oxygen means o2 what it gives it gives a carbon dioxide water plus energy carbon dioxide water plus energy very simple reaction next uh, sex determination it's also guarantee question sex determination you already know that uh, father and mothers they contain uh, 23 set of a chromosome 22 sets are uh, you would uh, used to determine your characteristics and one set is used to determine your sex determine your sex that's why uh, in for the XY chromosomes are there that's a one set one set means two chromosomes in for the XY chromosomes are there in mother XX chromosomes are there uh, widely uh, we blame to uh, females why uh, she is only responsible for give a birth to male child or a female child but uh, there is no responsibility of mother or there is no responsibility of father also uh, sir, uh, father's responsibility is there. If you say means uh, under control of a father, under control of a father, the chromosomes not transferred. Okay, naturally they transferred at the time of a, uh, what we call uh, uh, at the time of a fertilization. That's why uh, it's also not controlled by a father also and it's not also controlled by a mother also but a uh, uh, major role played here 
in sex determination father why because uh, in father he contains xy chromosome he has a xy chromosomes mother has a xx chromosomes when from father x chromosome is transferred and mother also x chromosome transferred uh, whatever the baby comes to birth that's a female then in father uh, what x chromosome came another one x chromosome and mother also another one chromosome is there. that's also x chromosome means here also case female means uh, the probability of production of female is 50 percent then the probability of production of uh, male baby it's also 50 percent why from mother always x chromosome comes but uh, in another case from father y chromosome came means xy chromosome xy chromosome male and from father again y chromosome came and mother x chromosome it's also xy that's a 50 percent probability of male child 50 percent probability of female child okay uh, uh, with the help of another diagram i want to explain for you uh, father contains uh, xy chromosomes father has a xy chromosomes it's a father then mother has a xx chromosomes then who plays a major role in sex determination why father because from father if x chromosome came mothers it's always x that's for xx whatever the baby what they give a birth that's a female that's a female but from mother x chromosome came and father y chromosome came means it's xy chromosome the baby whatever the baby comes to birth that's a male that's a male that's why father play a major role in sex determination father play major role in sex determination but it's also not under control of him why because it's a natural process the transfer of chromosomes he doesn't know which chromosome he is transferring to female reproduction system that's why uh, uh, what what uh, we cannot be able to blame female first of all our society blames female only uh, she is also oh, perfectly not responsible for that uh, somehow in some point of view father is responsible but uh, uh, on his hand also nothing is there that's why uh, sex determination is a natural process next it's a both whatever i discussed those are two marks important questions next we are going to discuss about ionic compounds in your exam what they ask uh, what are ionic compounds and explain their properties explain their properties then the compounds formed by the transfer of electrons those are called ionic compounds the compounds formed by the transfer of electrons from metal to non metals are called ionic compounds or electrovalent compounds and compounds are what those are called electrovalent compounds and properties of ionic compounds uh, first one physical nature first one which one physical nature they are solid very important hard and generally they are brittle why they are solid why they are solid because they have attraction in between they have attraction in between positive and negative ions first one complete next one melting point and boiling point are high they have a high melting and boiling points they have a high melting and boiling points why because in between the cation and anion attraction is more to break down that ionic bond we require some more energy in the form of heat that's why boiling point and melting point are high to break down those bonds we require some more energy in the form of heat that's why their melting point and boiling point are high then solubility generally they are soluble in water but insoluble in where organic solvents like a kerosene petrol in these materials uh, whenever they dissolve in a water they liberate a ions okay then third one completed conduction of electricity ionic compounds conduct electricity in molten or solution state why because they liberated their respective ions cations and anions those ions are responsible for carrying uh, electricity but whenever they are in solid state they not liberate the, their respective ions that's why <laughs> they are non conductors of uh, electricity okay very important two mark question we discussed next one prevention of rusting how we can able to prevent a rusting 
first one iron article should be painted next one the machine part should be oiled and greased then galvanized iron pipes are used to water supply are used for water supply iron can be coated with chromium to prevent rusting okay anodization then uh, 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 what uh, several methods we use to prevent the rusting it's also very important two marks question next in our exam what they ask what are the parts of the brain explain its functions then for that question answer uh, what are the parts of brain fore brain mid brain and hind brain then if we take a fore brain and its function thinking part of the brain which one fore brain control voluntary actions store information in memory receive sensory impulses from various parts of the body and integrate it and integrate it next center associated with hunger okay fore brain is the center associated with hunger then uh, if you go to mid brain mid brain controls involuntary actions such as a vision hearing motor control sleep temperature regulation like these are controlled by mid brain next one hind brain in hind brain we again uh, classify into three parts first one cerebellum fore brain cerebrum and diencephalon are the two major parts like that only in hind brain three major parts are there what are those those are cerebellum medulla oblongata and the pons here they not given but it's a pons then cerebellum it is responsible for precision of voluntary actions very important okay who they have a precision of what a precision of voluntary actions they can only able to uh, what uh, uh, one simple example ride a cycle okay uh, whatever the persons walk on ropes why because they have a precision of voluntary actions maintaining the posture and balance maintaining the posture and balance of the body these are all controlled by cerebellum example picking a pen picking a pen it's a what voluntary voluntary action next medulla controls involuntary actions like example which one blood pressure salivation vomiting production of saliva it's salivation okay then pons uh, pons controls a uh, facial expression pons controls a uh, facial expression these are the important parts of the brain and their functions and their functions then in your exam Uh, what do you mean by placenta they ask and explain its functions what do you mean by placenta explain its functions then the disc of a special tissue embedded in the uterine wall which connects fetus to mother it's called placenta it's called placenta then what functions of a placenta the embryo get a nutrition from mother blood what a transport glucose and oxygen from mother to embryo removes a waste from embryo into mother blood removes a waste from embryo into mother blood next uh, in your exam they ask a male reproductive system explain male reproductive system structure and their functions like this the question ask then what are the parts of our male reproductive system very important testes okay produces the sperms secretes the testosterone and regulate the secondary sexual characters in the body at the time of puberty at the time of puberty next which one vas deferens vas deferens deliver sperms to urethra deliver sperms to urethra urethra is a common passage for what um, a common passage for a urine uh, pass and also what sperms uh, ejaculation next prostate glands and uh, seminal vesicles prostate glands and seminal vesicles secretes a fluid for easy transport of a sperms very important okay prostate glands secretes a fluid for easy transport of a sperms and they provide a nutrition the sperms turns into liquid because of these glands seminal vesicles and prostate glands next one penis helps in ejaculation of sperms to female body helps to ejaculation of 
sperms to female body next uh, they ask the contraceptive methods to avoid a pregnancy contraceptive methods to avoid a pregnancy what are those contraceptive methods mechanical barriers they prevent the meeting of sperm with the egg example condoms are covering coverings but worn in the vagina first one this one the next one oral pills they change the hormonal balance of the body so eggs are not released and the fertilization does not occur it has a side effects due to hormonal imbalance it's a very important next loop or copper tea loop or copper tea they are placed in the uterus to prevent a pregnancy where they are placed they are placed in the uterus to prevent a pregnancy they cause side effects due to irritation of uterus okay that's the third one the next one surgical methods here fertilization is prevented by blocking of a gamete transport blocking of what gamete transports in male vas deferens is blocked to prevent sperm transfer in female fallopian tube is blocked to prevent egg reaching to the uterus egg reaching to uterus okay then characteristics of field lines characteristics of field lines uh, uh, again uh, it uh, the video going to lengthy yes that's why this is last question i'm going to discuss with you characteristics of field lines first one field lines are arised from north pole and end into south pole of the magnet first one very important okay field lines arise from north pole and end into south pole of the magnet next one direction of uh, field lines inside the magnet are from south to north okay there they are what uh, uh, goes to north to south where field lines arise from north pole and ends into south pole of the magnet where it's outside of the magnet but inside of magnet uh, they uh, what they travels from south to north field lines are closed curves field lines are closed curves this is also one peculiar character next one field lines are closer in a stronger magnetic field closer in stronger magnetic field field lines are never intersect to each other this is a very important field lines never intersects to each other why because uh, two whatever the field lines are there in between we keep a compass it will not show a two directions that's why they not intersect that's why they not intersect okay uh, then some more questions are there those we are going to discuss in next part okay uh, these are the very important questions i'm going to discuss with you uh, listen as a audio notes and uh, be prepared for your exam all the best and share to your friends thank you thank you so much